it's been just over a month since Hurricane Debbie brought devastating flooding and rain to the state of Florida, leaving dozens of homes underwater. And tonight we have new numbers that show more than half of Hurricane Debbie claims are already closed and the majority of those claims were actually denied. ABC Action News anchor Nadine Giannis is committed to helping you navigate Florida's insurance market. She joins us in the studio now with more. Nadine, I know you're getting to the bottom of why so many homeowners are left with no help from their insurance company. So what's going on? Wendy, it all comes down to not having flood insurance. This is something we've spoken so much about since Debbie. I went back to the Laurel Meadows subdivision in Sarasota County. 86 of the homes there were flooded out. Neighbors say of those, only four had flood insurance. That means 82 others of their neighbors, despite being underwater, are now being left high and dry by their insurance companies. That's, that's what's left. More than a month later, and Allison Cavallaro is still drying out traces of flood water in her Sarasota home. And we're still pulling up tile and 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 that might be wet. We have to check that still. One of 86 homes in the Laurel Meadow subdivision submerged in water. Today, right that's now. a ghost town. Only sounds of contractors working on now gutted homes and most here, including Allison. They wouldn't cover, of course, because it's flood. Are getting no help from homeowners insurance. I was denied, right? Oh. Yeah. Is that something new that you learned? I learned everything. I've never had a flood. I've never had a disaster. I've never had to do any of this. So yeah, it's all very new to me. So Allison found herself where she now needed to submit a hurricane claim and she did everything that she possibly could for her insurance company to cover it. She recorded how high the water came up. He could see it right here, took pictures of it. The adjuster came out. He looked at it. Still, she was denied. She's one of literally dozens in her neighborhood who says had their hurricane claims closed out with no payment. According to data from the Office of Insurance Regulation of the nearly 20,000 insurance claims submitted, nearly 60% are already closed. But take a look at this. Of those claims closed, more than half were closed without payment. 58% of homeowners now left with their claims denied. It's it kind of is a shot to the gut whenever an adjuster says, I'm so sorry, we cannot extend coverage. Lisa Miller is a former Florida Deputy Insurance Commissioner, not surprised to see so many claims were denied so quickly. It doesn't take long to determine that it's a flood and not a wind claim. Um, claims adjusters from the property insurance companies, because just remember, flood loss is not covered in a property insurance homeowner's insurance policy, and so many people think that it is, and so much of what Debbie brought to us was just a lot of water flooding these homes. What options are there for these homeowners who, this was a flood event, and they were told that you're not getting any money from your property insurance company? There's three things that they can do. One, of course, is take out a personal loan. And, and or if they've got equity in their home, you know, borrow with that to get their home repaired. Secondly, see what FEMA has to offer. And third, of course, is a lot of people are just selling their homes and walking away. Getting an SBA disaster loan is the only option Allison has left. I guess I'll live in my trailer a little bit longer. Still hoping FEMA pulls through. I would say read every word in the policy. Um, definitely flood insurance and don't shortcut it. Get the real private insurance. Get the good stuff. And of the homes in Laurel Meadows, most of them weren't even in a flood zone. They were in flood zone X. Allison looked into it. If she would have gotten a flood insurance policy, it would have just cost her $800 a year. If you are looking for more flood insurance resources, we, we have them on abcactionnews.com. We also are going to talk about them tonight on DPL Plus. That's why I want to go ahead and bring in Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips. We talked about insurance before, Dennis. A lot of questions about flood insurance tonight. We're going to get into it, especially after Debbie. And you're tracking Francine. A lot to talk about tonight. Yeah, we are. And I, mean, I think it's, it's great information because so many folks think in Florida, if you're not officially in a flood zone, that you simply can't flood. And we all know, unfortunately, after this summer, that is just not the case. So, yes, 